Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working on module 1, lesson 11. And tonight it is a mouthful. We are multiplying a decimal fraction by single digit whole numbers. We are relating to a written method through application of the area model and place value understanding. And we are explaining the reasoning that we used. Woof! Well, let's take a look at a few problems and hopefully we'll be able to distill that mouthful of words down into some... Uh, some solutions that we can uh, and try to model for you. Let's take a look at a few problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one. Let us do the following. Let us solve by drawing disks on a place value chart, write an equation, and express the product in standard form. Okay, fair enough. Let's see. So we're, I'm going to work on problem 1D. 1D. I'm going to say I'm going to work. I'm going to do this problem three times five hundredths. Okay, so we need a place value chart, right? Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that first. Let's do, and we've got, I'm going to put ones here. I'm sorry, we've got ones. So yeah, didn't even get my right spot. We've got ones here. We've got tenths here. And we've got hundredths over here. Awesome. Let's see, three times five hundredths. Okay, so first I need my five hundredths, right? One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Are we all agreed on that? So that's five hundredths. And let's see, there's no tens and no hundredths, but we need three times as many of them. So let's make two more copies. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So let's see. Uh, well, we've got fifteen hundredths, but I'm noticing something. We've got more than ten, so we can take ten of our hundredths, we can bundle them together, and we can make a tenth. And I think that's going to give us our answer of zero ones, one tenth, and five remaining hundredths. So let's see how that works uh, as we draw it out. Three times five hundredths. Let's see. Three times five hundredths. Let's see. That's no ones, no tenths, five hundredths equals. And let's see. What was our answer? Our answer was still no ones, but now we have one tenth and five hundredths. So let's see. Zero ones, one tenth. Five hundredth, And now that allows us to write the standard form, right? The standard algorithm and the standard answer form, the standard form of our number. Excellent. And we just did our bundling of our extra hundredths and created our extra tenth. Beautiful. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem number two. Problem number two asks us to draw a model similar to the one pictured below. Oh, these are area models. Ah, cool. Find the sum of the partial products to evaluate each expression. Let's see what they did. We're not going to do 2A. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do two. Uh, let's do a little bit of two a. Let's see, uh, four times six and seventy nine hundredths. So I'm noticing that they broke down six into six ones. Let's see, that's that part, and then the next part is seven tenths, and then nine hundredths. So they broke down our number six point seven nine into this into each of the units. Six ones. This is actually just unit form, right? Six ones, seven tenths. 900s, and we multiply each of those by 4, because we're multiplying this all by 4. I see, and then in each area they have, they have 4 times the 6 1s, they have the 4 times the 7 tenths, and they have the 4 times the 9 hundredths. All right, let's see, well, 4 times 6 1s would be 24 1s, right, or 24. Let's see, 4 times 7 tenths would be 28 tenths, 28 tenths. Oh, I see. We'd make 20 of those tenths into two ones. Sorry, you can't barely see that. There's my decimal, right? 2.8 is the same as 28 tenths. And then finally, let's see, 4 times 9 hundredths would be, let's see, 4 times 9 hundredths would be 36 hundredths. And that would just be like that, right? 36 hundredths is just those after the decimal. And now we're supposed to add those together. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Well, we might have to do that vertically um, if we can't do that with mental math. So let's see, 24 plus 2.8, and we have to make sure we line up everything, right? Because we line up our ones. We don't just mash our numbers together. 24, 2.8, and then 0.36, so 0 0.36. Those are our three numbers, right? Let's see. Let's go ahead and add those up. We're going to add up all of our hundredths first. There's none of them except for these six. Great, six. Let's see. We're going to add up our tenths. So that's 8 plus 3 is 11, so that's 1 tenth plus we convert 10 of those into 1, 1. Let's add up our 1s. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. And then finally we'll add up our 10s. There's just 2. That's 27.16. Awesome. Well, that's the only one I'm going to do for you then, because I'm going to leave the next one for you uh, 
this is B, 6 times 7.49. I want you to do the same thing, right? You'll do a little area model. You break up the 7 and 4 tenths and 9 hundredths across the top. You multiply it all along the vertical side by your 6, and then you'll have a box, right? A box for how you multiplied 6 times the 1 units, 6 times the tenths, 6 times the hundredths, and then you'll have to add it up across the bottom. All right? Last question. Leanne multiplied, oh, a redraw and write strategy. Well, let's see. Redraw, write, let's go. Redraw, write. Leanne multiplied 8 times 4.3, or 4 and 3 tenths, and got 32 and 24 hundredths. Is Leanne correct? Use an area model to explain your answers. Well, that seems pretty reasonable. Let's, let's draw our area model and see if that worked out. So let's see, 8 times 4 and 3 tenths. So let's see, this is going to be a simpler area model, right? We've got 4, 4 ones, and 3 tenths. And we're multiplying everything by 8. So this would be 8 times 4 ones, and 8 times 3 tenths. Okay. So 8 times 4 ones. Let's see, 8 times 4 is 32. So 32 ones. That's just 32. Okay. And then 8 times 3 tenths would be 24 tenths. 24 tenths. Let's see. So if it's 24 tenths, it would actually be the same as 2.4. Oh, I think I see what Leanne did. She multiplied those two together and she got 32.24. So when she did her 8 times 3 tenths, she forgot that 24 tenths, this is not 24 tenths, right? This is 24 tenths. And so when we add these two terms together, let's see, we add the tenths together, there's only four of them. We add the ones together. 2 plus 2 is 4. We add the tens together. There's just the 3. And we have 34.4. Let's see. So Leanne is incorrect. The answer is 34.4, not 32.24. Awesome. That's our right part of our strategy. And now we've reached the end of our homework. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.